Hi, this is Alex from Tired Education and I'm going to show you how to group tracks and how to use them efficiently in Pro Tools. So as you can see here, we have the arrangement window. This is a live show that I recorded a few years ago actually, um, but it's quite a good example to show you how you can use groups in Pro Tools and how you can be efficient with them. So the first thing I would do, if I was recording, I would select all of these tracks. So I go up to the kick first, all the way down to the narration two track and a shortcut is to hit Command G. Now, if I wanted to do that all with shortcuts, I go on, on kick there, hold shift and press the semicolon, which will bring you all the way down the tracks to there and then press, press Command G. And I'm gonna call this live show. Now, as you can see, this is showing up in the groups tab down here. I have to activate the, these first. So what I'm gonna do is go to command shift G. So as you can see, that's gone from grayed out to black. So in order to activate them, it's gonna be command shift G on and off. So I just made a group for the whole, for all, for all of the tracks here for this live show. So what I can do now is I can, I can cut things, I can edit them, I can trim them, I can fade them, and everything is going to be applied to all of the tracks within that single group. Now, what I can do, say if I've got only a couple of drum mics here because it was more of a country gig than anything else, what I'm gonna do is enlarge, enlarge my three, three drum tracks and Sorry. Enlarge my three drum tracks, and what I can do is create another group. So I'm gonna hold shift, go semicolon down, go on the command G, and just go drums. So now I've got that, I'm gonna activate them, deselect my all tab, which by the way, all obviously means all of the tracks in the session, which which can be useful at times, but I often don't have it on. I can I can deactivate the live show track and only have that drums one activated, as you can see because it's highlighted. So now if I go and, and make edits, I can only do them on all of the drum tracks. So this is a very useful feature. If you're, you're working with multiple tracks and multiple different instruments and instrument families and stuff, you can group all of them, especially if it's a live session, you can group all of them into one group if needed. In this case it was because it was a live show. And then what you can do then is in the, then group all of the drums, you can also group the rooms. So let me go and go on room mic, roads, and AKG. I'm going to hit shift and semicolon, the command G, and call these rooms. Let me go to guitars. So I've got two guitars here, got an electric and acoustic. So on this next one, instead of going on the top track and going down, I want to go from the bottom track and go up. Now, a shortcut for this is going on P, which basically goes up tracks whilst the semicolon goes down. So if I want to group these two guitars here, the electric and the acoustic, what I'm gonna do is hold shift and then go P and it will select that track up as well. Go on to command G and electric guitar. Or not electric guitar, but just guitar, hold on. Okay, so now I've got all of these groups here. I've got one for my whole live show there. If I de de deactivate that, I've got one for my drums got one for my guitars, got one for rooms, and you can make lots of different groups if it suits it and if it suits your, your style of working as well. But um, that for me at the moment does enough. What I'm gonna do is go into the menu here and, and show you what you can do. So if, if I come down here to the groups tab, right click on, on, what, on one group and go on to modify, you can change a few things here. So. This currently in the group shows all the tracks that are inside of that group that you created. If you want, you can go to as many of these tracks as you want and add them or remove them or change around the actual groups. So say, for example, you had a live drum recording, you already grouped them all in drums. If you want to, to replace the kick a little bit or, or layer it there with a sample, but that's not in the group, you just go on to modify down here, go to wherever your track is and just click add. And it's as simple as that. You could change all of the tracks in the group just by doing that. You can also change your attributes as well. So you can do things, so attributes and globals here, sorry. So you can do things like soloing, record enable, input monitoring. You can have your volume and mute. By default, all groups, if I go on the live show one, all groups 
are defaulted to have their volumes all linked. But you can just turn this off by right clicking on your group, going on to modify and clicking on, on volume. And now that will only change one. So what you can do in this tab here is modify them to however you want because certain people work slightly differently. I personally, what, what I do is I have that volume that's enabled and I very quickly toggle on and off in between all the groups. So say I wanted to bring down that kick, I just very quickly toggle it by going the command shift G and then I just go like that and then I turn them on again. That's just my personal way of working but if you want, you can deactivate that tick on the global on the global tab in this modify box. So it's really completely up to personal preference. Cool, so as a quick video here today, uh, talking about grouping in Pro Tools. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell button if you want to be notified of any future videos that we put out. See you on the next one.